Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the fourth episode of this Shahr Ramadan series. This is a series where we discuss some beautiful personality traits that are taught to us by the month of Ramadan that are also important traits of the soldiers of Imam Zaman alayhi salam. So let us take the full benefits of this beautiful month and embark together on a journey to establish these beautiful personality traits within ourselves this Shahr Ramadan, inshallah. Before we begin, I would like to congratulate you all on the birth anniversary of Imam Hassan al-Mujtaba alayhi salam. So Eid Mubarak to you all. In today's episode, we will be discussing the importance of seeking the company of the scholars of Islam. My dear brothers and sisters, it is extremely important, especially in our day and age, for us to acquire the company of our scholars. Especially because we live in a time when the agents of the Tawhut are disguising themselves as scholars um, in order to bombard us with falsehoods and fabrications and to lead us astray. The religion of Islam has given great importance to scholars. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, قُلْ هَلْ يَسْتَوِ الَّذِينَ يَعْلَمُونَ وَالَّذِينَ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ O Prophet say, are the ones who know and the ones who know not equal. Similarly, we have a hadith from Rasulullah where he says that the scholars are the inheritors of the prophets, peace be upon them. In another beautiful hadith, Rasulullah says, I once asked Jibra'il alayhi salam, which of the actions or a'mal of my ummah are better? He answered, ilm, knowledge. I asked, and after knowledge, he answered, looking at the face of a scholar of God and sitting in his majlis. I again asked, and after that, he replied, going to see the scholar. And he said, O Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi, a person who gains knowledge only for the sake of pleasing Allah and with the aim of correcting the Muslimin and not for gaining the useless material of this world, I guarantee that I will take him to Jannah. Likewise, we have a beautiful narration where Imam Ali alayhi salam says to Kamail ibn Ziyad, loving a scholar is an act of worship. Another well-known tradition says, be a scholar, a teacher, a listener or one who loves them. Do not be in a fifth category and thereby be ruined. Likewise, you have countless ahadiths um, talking about the importance of sitting in the majalis of uh, the ulama and of acquiring their company. My dear brothers and sisters, we in the school of the Ahlul Bayt salam, are not a school of thought that encourage making Islam an inherited religion, a religion that is passed down as a collection of practices for generations and therefore becomes this religion of you know the forefathers because that is how innovations and corruptions are brought into the religion our religion islam is an ocean of knowledge and we are from the school of imam ja'far al-sadiq alayhi salam which is a school of knowledge and academics and learning and teaching. The very foundations of the Ja'fari school of thought laid by Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq when he established the Hawza'i Almiya in Medina are on knowledge. How many times does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran command us to seek and to learn and to ponder and to understand? The foundations of this very religion are based on divine knowledge. Therefore, possessing the arrogance of believing ourselves to be in the same league as the scholars or na'udhu billah, to be superior to them, as many of our brothers and sisters have fallen into the trap of doing, is not at all part of the Shia school of thought. It is not at all part of the Ja'fari school of thought. Our school of thought respects the scholars deeply. As I quoted a hadith in the beginning um, that said, loving a scholar is an act of worship and looking at the face of a scholar is an act beloved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And therefore, according to the teachings of our Imams alayhim salam, a nation that sidelines its scholars or abandons them or disrespects them is doomed to be ruined. Therefore, it is incumbent upon us who desire to become the soldiers of Imam Zaman alayhi salam inshallah to acquire the company of the scholars, to stay connected to them, to learn from them, to follow their words and actions and to try our level best to become like them in their akhlaq. For we cannot become like them in their knowledge unless we spend our lives serving and learning the religion of Islam as they have done. 
My dear brothers and sisters, our scholars are the people that have dedicated their lives to the religion of Allah. They have spent their lives training themselves and perfecting their actions in accordance with the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They have reached their status by working hard to embody the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They have worked hard for years to become beacons of light and knowledge for us. If we want to see the virtues and the importance of the scholars, we have to look no further than the fact that these are people who raise and serve entire nations. They are unconditionally, genuinely concerned about the well-being of the Ummah. They have selflessly taken up the responsibility of raising entire nations and they work hard in their service to Islam only and only in order to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They do not ask for anything in return. These are people who know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his commandments and the religion of Islam the best in this time of the ghaybah or occultation of Imam al-Zaman alayhi salam for they have spent years in studying various difficult fields and subjects like jurisprudence, theology, um, Arabic grammar, ilm al-rijal and many others in order to understand the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his religion and in order to serve humanity and to raise nations. Our scholars are the blessed people who are leading us on the path of Imam al-Zaman alayhi salam who are giving us light and clarity and who are keeping us connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If it is not possible for us to acquire their company physically, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, we live in a time and that is not a problem anymore. We can stay connected to them and stay in contact with them um, through the internet, on their websites, for example, or on social media, or Instagram, Facebook, or Telegram, etc. We can follow pages that disseminate their teachings. We can even send them our questions um, through social media or on their websites. We also have this brilliant app, Ask Those Who Know, where you can send them your messages and ask for advice. So you would find, dear brothers and sisters, that it is absolutely impossible for us to find excuses to not stay in contact with the scholars and to not acquire the company of the scholars. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah for that. Therefore, there should never come a time upon us, the followers of Imam al-Zaman where we abandon our scholars or lose our connection to them. For Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq has said that in sitting in the company of the Ahl al-Din is the success of this world and the next. Therefore, it is absolutely crucial for us to acquire the company of the scholars for only by doing so can we be successful in this life and more importantly in the Akhirah, inshallah. Jazakallah khair for watching. Do tune in for the next episode, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.